What is going on, beautiful people? It is Bet Slam with Sam. If you are new here, I am Sam. I'm here to break down every single UFC fight on every single card. This time, we have Nathan Levy taking on Mike Davis in the lightweight division on Tai Tui Vasa versus Marcin Taiboris fight card this weekend. Guys, starting off with Nathan Levy, 8-1 record. Pretty dang good record, might I add. His one loss did come inside of the UFC by Rafa Garcia. He fights out of Israel. He is five foot nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. He has a 71 inch reach advantage and his leg reach at 39 inches. On the flip side, we have Mike Davis. Guys, Mike Davis coming to the UFC and the contender series. He fought Sadiq Yusuf, which was one of his losses. He then went on to rack up some more wins, come back, lost against Gilbert Burns back in 2019. Since then, he has looked flawless. Mike Davis fights out of the United States of America. He stands six feet, <laughs> zero inches tall. He weighs 155 pounds, has a reach of 72.5 inches and a leg reach of 41 inches. I'm going to start off by breaking down Mike Davis. Then we're going to flip on to Natan Levy. I've taken notes for this one because I didn't want to miss anything out. Here are my notes for Mike Davis. Mike Davis, his last loss, as I said, lost against Gilbert Burns in 2019. Might I say, that fight was a banger. Ultimately, Gilbert did find success in the grappling and sunk in a rear naked choke late in the third round. That version of Gilbert Burns was prime. That was not the best Mike Davis we had seen. He's still entering his more polished form, I do believe. He stamped his first UFC victory, destroying Thomas Gifford. And I mean destroying. He knocked him completely unconscious late in the third round. It was so bad that Michael Bisping was crying over the microphone, begging for the referee to step in and stop him because, honestly, Thomas Gifford was getting his face pummeled. It was bad. Dude got beat down. He then took on Mason Jones, who at the time was a 10-0 prospect. He has a chin of granite that only the likes of Marvin Vittori could outshine. That fight started and it looked as though Mike Davis would just pummel him to death but as Mike Davis did the intelligent thing and stayed moving, and you know, stayed on his feet, because in the second and third rounds, it became apparent that Jones was not going to go away. At the end, Mason Jones' face looked like it was bruised, bleeding, and by the time it got to the scorecards, he looked like a busted up peach. Now, while the striking totals in that matchup were close, the damage won Mike the fight. And it is important to note that Mason Jones did take on Ludovic Klein, who we just saw recently absolutely manhandle his opponent, and Ludovic Klein could also not finish Mason Jones. Mike Davis is the fucking man, guys. Go watch all of his fights. They're all absolutely entertaining, and his hands are crisp. His boxing, top tier. On the Natan Levy side, he came into the UFC in 2021, lost a decision handedly to Rafa Garcia, a respectable fighter. He then went on to beat Mike Breeden, whose only victory inside the UFC has come from behind and late in the third round against Anshul Jubilee in a fight where he was weirdly barking and it was freaking strange. Mike Breeden had missed weight by that fight by 4.5 pounds, which was his second mate with second weight miss. Can't even say fucking words. Second weight miss inside of the UFC. It resulted in him being cut from the UFC roster. He also took on Gennaro Valdez, who he won by decision. Although honestly Gennaro Valdez just isn't UFC caliber. He's 0-3 inside of the UFC. Natan Levy had a string of cancel bouts in 2023, resulting in us not seeing him at all until then. He now takes on Mike Davis, and I just think the jump in competition is too large. His victories that in Natan Levy are all sealed behind takedowns, but he's unable to hold people and control them. And this is where I see him losing the matchup, because every time he's on the feet with Mike Davis, he's going to get lit the fuck up. Natan Levy, if you go back and watch, he's not a finisher. Okay, He has some submissions on his record, but not inside of the UFC. And his victories in the UFC are decisions where he holds people down and has to continuously get takedowns because people are able to build themselves back to their feet. And even in the Breeden fight, late in the third round, I thought Natan Levy was going to slow down so bad that Mike Breeden was going to finish him. So my takeaway from this is Mike Davis just got a victory over a very, very respectable opponent in Vyacheslav Borshev, who has fantastic striking and has improved in his stand-ups. Mike Davis has grappling. He has phenomenal hands. He's got a pretty good chin himself. His head mover, excellent. And he's got size for the division. There is nothing to not like about Mike Davis in this and everything to dislike about Natan Levy in this matchup. Natan Levy, not a finisher. Never had a knockout in his entire career. 
I just don't see where he wins this matchup. And also, when I watched him fight against Mike Breeden and even Rafa Garcia, you just saw that at points he had these reactions to the punches, which if he does that against Mike Davis, Mike Davis is going to crack him on the side of the head and put him out unconscious. So Mike Davis is going to be the pick. I'm going to bet him on the money line for my parlays, but I will be sprinkling a solo bet on him to win by knockout. And I'm hoping that we get some juice on that one because he hasn't won by knockout under the UFC banner yet. Now, if you did enjoy, guys, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, hit it with a like, send it to your nan, and I will see you in the next one.